just going for it. And... Go! Hang on! Don't kill the poor tree. Boom! Truck form right here. Yeah! Right over there! Over here! Jump! Can somebody give me a quick boost? Treasure, like pirates. Pirates? Well, they're like sailors, you know. I just realized you don't know what pirates are. Look here. They sailed the seven seas, finding adventure. And they'd hide their treasure on an island and use a map to find it. Sounds pretty cool. Huh? Come here. Peter's birthday is tomorrow. And I have an idea. But you have to... Shh. <laughs> Happy birthday! <laughs> Look what I found on the table! A map! And there's a big X on it! Maybe it goes to treasure or something! Wow! How cool! Let's get the dinos! Good plan! They can help us find the treasure. And we'll all be like real pirates. Hooray! <laughs> so, after making a right at the thorny bush, we head three finger lanes north. And we find the big log. Should be it. Right? Uh, whose finger lanes? Mine. One and a half of yours. <laughs> Sound good? Let's go! Go, go, Turbo Swords! <sighs> Where's the thorny bush? Ah! Found it! Now, one and a half fingers north. I saw a log! Up ahead! This is the place! Let's dig here! I found something! Further instructions! Well, let's compare the two. Yes. So that's the way. Southwest. Uh -huh. All your idea? That's so great! We don't need a map, just our brains! Ahoy me! Yeah. All talents on deck! Whoa! Look, it's the island! That's awesome! Made it yesterday! Surprise! The treasure's somewhere on it! Yeah, let's go! Couldn't find the treasure. Is that what I think it is? <laughs> yes, yes, yes! We found the treasure! Happy birthday! Hooray! 
It's pirate costumes! <laughs> Ahoy! What a fine looking dino crew! Where to, Captain? Adventure! Joe, Bull, Jerry, Unky, Thor, and Chuck! Your Torbosaurus friends! Now they are on funny stickers in Viber! Join our channel and share your emotions with your friends! <laughs> Who knows? Is someone gonna go find the ball? I can't. I'm busy being the best goalie. Women always get the job done. Uh. Uh. Huh? Hey there, who are you? Toby! <laughs> Your boy, come back! There's a human in the woods. He's coming. Turbozor team, hi! Good afternoon, <coughs> Mr. Charlie! Hello there, children. <laughs> Cars out here in the woods? That's odd. What are you kids up to out here? Just helping my sister learn soccer. Toby, here boy. Nothing to see here but a bunch of junk. <laughs> Talk back to me, boy. You're going to the vet today. And I don't want to hear any more sass from you about it. Okay, all clear. <laughs> hey, what's so funny? The old man called Joe Junk, but I think the dog kind of likes her. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm certainly not junk. How many Seropolis do you know who can turn into convertibles? While we're on the subject of being great, how impressed was the dog with my wingspan? Be honest. <laughs> You're back from the vet already? Where's Toby? He's gone. God. Chased after a motorcycle, it slipped his leash. I looked for him everywhere. But I guess he couldn't hear me call him. We've got to go bring Toby back. Of course we'll help get his dog back. We'll do whatever we can. Do you have any ideas, Thor? Well, downtown's a really big place. We should split up to increase our chances of finding this dog. Good plan. Go, go, Turbo Thors! I feel awful for the poor thing. All alone in the big city, he could be miles away. <gasps> could it be? That's him for sure. Must have fallen. 
Fallen down somehow. Chuck, you'll be in charge of grabbing Toby. Onky, bring the pipe out of the ground. Chuck, you'll be in charge of grabbing Toby. As for Joe, we'll need those headlights to see what we're doing. Turbidors, move out! Everyone was given a job to do but me. I could have come up with a good plan, too. Be careful. Careful with those giant hands. <laughs> now there's something that history books won't tell you. Apparently, dogs love dinosaurs! <laughs> <laughs>
Huh, I don't know. I could show off my beautiful gardening. Uh -huh. Hmm. I don't know if dinosaurs gardening will fly with my science team. Uh -huh. <laughs> I've got it! We'll show off our dance moves. Oh, splendid idea! I am quick on my feet! It's the most awesome project I'll ever turn in. The best in your whole entire class. Thanks. You guys are the best. Make sure you don't forget our best dino trick of all. <laughs> huh? Everybody in position? Go, go, Turbozords! Yeah, yeah. I'll get an A for sure. Millions of views online! Awesome! There is just one small problem. If you show people this video, then they'll know who we are. Oh, you're right. We can't show it. But what now? Ah, easy! Peter can just draw all of our dinosaur antics. Yes! You're a genius! Yes, I am. <laughs> This sign means no stopping allowed. That's right, or else your car will get towed away. Where are the others? We were expecting everyone. They'll be here soon. It's not like them to forget. SOS! Huh? Something terrible's happened. Please help me! Jerry, what's going on? Deep breath, deep breath. Deep breath! Huh? Jerry, tell us what happened. And by the way, where is Joe? That's what I've been trying to get out! Uh, she was kidnapped! She went into the city and they took her! They took her away! I think I know what happened. She didn't know about the sign, and so they had to tow her away. Don't you worry, every problem has a solution. Jerry, lead the way. Go, go, Turbosaur! Wait, what about Chuck? A robot like him is sure to attract attention. Chuck's nothing to worry about. In the city, people are so busy that no one will notice him. You ready? Then let's go find our Joe. <laughs> now, where could she be? This situation calls for some eyes up in the sky. Jerry? I'm on the case! Oh, there you are! Welcome to your rescue! Jerry, they took me away! What are we going to do? Don't panic, Joe! Superhero is my middle name! Have no fear, we're going to get you out of here! The coast is clear. Time to let Chuck out! Ooh, little crabs in here! <laughs> I found Joe! Shh, she's up on the second floor! Well, shucks, I can just break down the whole wall. Joe can escape through the hole, and then I can close it back up again, and no one will ever know. How will she get down from way up there? There aren't any stairs. It's impossible. Ugh. Nothing could be simpler. I think I've got it. We just have to build a slide that comes down from the second floor. Here, take a look. You're a genius. Chuck, 
go ahead and break the wall and that part of the roof. Unky, go wait inside so you don't get in the way. Thor, Bull, go gather some dirt so when he's done, we can make a smooth slide for Joe. And what should I do? Watch and make sure no one sees us. Somebody's coming! Again with the construction! Digging! Digging! Will it never end? Is he gone? Oh, I can breathe again. Are you ready? Yes. Slow, slow, faster, to the left. You got it. Okay, team, we need to restore the whole building and also flatten the slide. Let's go home. I just don't know what I would ever do without such friends. That's what friends are for, to help you out when you get in a jam. But next time, make sure that you follow this sign. What does it mean? Ay ay ay. I will now teach you the rules. Lucky those rules don't apply to me. <laughs> uh, uh. She's never gonna get it. Uh, nope, I knew she'd get it. Uh, He's never gonna get it. Uh, that's not fair! No flying allowed! Heads up! <laughs> Take your own advice. Look! Uh, what is that? A dandelion? Is that supposed to be an apple? This is not an apple. I saw it through my telescope and I took a picture of it. Do you think that's a... Uh... An enormous meteorite. I'm sure of it. And it's headed straight for Grandma's garden. And how do you know that? It looks like an apple. It's the shape of an apple and the size of an apple. So... So what? And where does Grandma grow the apples? In the garden. And that's where the meteor's heading. Today. <gasps> oh, but that's where Grandma keeps her prized pumpkin. And a meteorite could... <gasps> Grandma will be devastated if that happens. I say we won't let it. Where are we heading? To the rescue as fast as we can. Uh, does anyone actually have a plan? Well, of course I do! To bring down a meteorite, you need a slingshot! <laughs> no, not a great plan. Or perhaps we could lure the meteorite into a trap! The meteorite? It's just a rock. How do you plan to lure it? With cheese? Hmm. What if we could build the world's strongest and biggest fan? And blow the meteorite straight into... That gives me an idea! Come on, let's go! I've got it! We need a racket! An enormous badminton racket! And then we'll catch the meteorite! Exactly! Look, 
Here are the strings of our racket. We will stretch them across the entire garden, and then when the meteorite arrives, kapow! <laughs> and now to create our racket. Something. To the lake! Go, go, Turbo Guys! So, we're quickly digging up everything in the garden and moving it over here. And the meteorite will never know the difference. A brilliant idea. Hmm. What are you doing? Grandma will be back from the store any minute, and you've made a mess out of everything! Uh, well, it only appears to be a mess at first glance, but if you look a little bit closer... Put everything back where it was. Otherwise, my grandma will be very upset. Now that is more like it. Let's hurry. We need to stretch out the racket. We must carry out Peter's plan because the meteorite could fly in any minute now. Go right, and then to the left. We're just about ready. Go check for the meteorite. <laughs> Not so fast, Peter. You need to clean the lens. Look, you have a dandelion feather in your way. Oh, the meteorite is gone. It seems the only thing I saw was a feather. A <laughs> meteorite's not coming for the garden? Oops. He's going to fall down. How can we catch him? Uh-huh. <gasps> Here, turn it for me. To the right, to the left, towards me, towards me. Stop, right there. <laughs> Here's our meteorite. I'll take a wild guess. Are Boris and Bruno teasing you again? Yeah, Aunt Nora bought them a brand new robot. It's all we've been hearing about. Wow, it's so 21st century. Yeah, he's totally cool. If only you two had one, we could play together. Of course, you would have to be able to handle modern technology. <laughs> <laughs> I saw it too. Let's just say it's not like you and me. That's right. That gives me an idea. Chuck, this calls for your special talent. Do you get my drift? Yes. Go, go, Turbosaurus! <laughs> I am a robot. My name is Chuck. <laughs> you should be in the movies. Oh no. Scary. <laughs> Don't be afraid. He's not dangerous. I am a robot. You can call me Chuck. Wow, this one talks. Of course he can talk. He's state of the art, the latest model. He was a gift from our grandmother for good behavior. He can do all sorts of stuff. Look, well, check this out. He is great at dancing. That's amazing. He does exercises too. Let me 
see that. You don't control it. This is for your toy car. <laughs> then that means it's moving by itself. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> It's coming! The scary robot's after us! Running from this robot, the other one was huge, ferocious. Roar! I knew all these toys would be a problem. You two just bye bye bye. But Aunt Nora, a giant robot chased us. We saw. Yeah. <laughs> oh my boys, such <sighs> fantasies. But it really happened. All right then, I'll ask Katie and Peter. A big scary robot. No, we didn't see a big scary robot. Did you see one? No, we haven't seen it. <laughs> you see? No big scary robot. sure that no one trips and falls. Bull just fell asleep. Thor and Chuck are on the job, though. Let's go look for the ball. We'll find it and keep playing. Huh? Soccer with a hedgehog. Let's keep looking for the ball. Wait a sec. What if? <gasps> what if it rains? 
the river will flood and they'll be washed away. Oh, we have to do something. We should go ask Katie. She's an expert on nature. Wait here. I'll go get her. Your help. There's this hedgehog family with babies. Their home is in danger. That's horrible. Can you show us where to find them? If it rains, the river will flood and wash away their nest. <sighs> I got it. Let's move their nest away from the river. Their home is here. We can't just move them. I have an idea. Since we can't move their nest, we'll move the river instead. How would we do that? Easy. We can just build a dam and reroute the river. Go, go! You dig a channel right here. Chuck, go collect downed trees from the forest. We'll be needing them for the dam. Check. To you, the hedgehog nest is safe. Now we can work on finding the ball. So how did you lose it? A giant kick. Without it, we can't finish our game. I think I can help with that. Hooray! <laughs> Chuck charges. He shoots. And the goalie knocks it! <laughs> Friendship's powerful. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid deer. In fact, they're one of the most useful medicinal plants we know of. That's so cool. There's more. Nettle plants can be used to make all sorts of delicious meals. There's soups, salads. Salad! Can we have nettle salad? Yes, we can have salad. I just have to go make it. While you wait, I suppose you can have some ice cream. Be sure you don't eat too much or you'll get sick. Yay! Maybe nettle plants can also be used in desserts. That could be good. Hmm. Hmm. Don't
Don't forget what she said. We can only have a little bit, just a taste. And have you washed your hands? Yep. Mm. Be sure you don't eat it too quickly. Mm. That can make you get sick too. So what you're saying is Jerry just ate way too much ice cream, and now he's sick? Then the problem is that when Jerry is sick, he's not able to become a drone. Huh? That's awful! What if our grandmother sees him? We better run home now. Go, go, Turbosaurs! <laughs> just had a realization. Being sick has its advantages and is actually quite nice. I think I'll stay sick for another week. What's this I hear about you being sick? Uh, it's true, my friend. I am terribly sick. <laughs> I can see that. I think our friend is in need of an ambulance. No problem. I'll take care of it. <laughs> Oh, 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 what's going on? Where are you taking me? For millions of years, we dinosaurs have known about the medicinal properties of the common nettle plant. They can help with all sorts of diseases. I'm suddenly feeling better! No! You see? Look at that. You recovered immediately. You're right. I feel like myself again. At last, I found my glasses. <gasps> and now things should start looking normal again. <sighs> you know, it's not polite to laugh at a pterodactyl who's been sick. <laughs> We'll catch lots of fish, and Grandma will cook them up. I bet I could eat two whole fish myself. Oh, yeah? Gotta catch them first. Wanna have a contest to see who can catch the most? Okay, I accept your challenge. Unbelievable! Look at all this litter. It's really awful. What a shame. Let's go find somewhere else to fish. 
Wait! We can't leave it like this. If we don't take care of the environment, then who will? So, what's today? Isn't it Wednesday? We won't be done until Friday. Not if our friends help out. Oh, hello. Looks like you've been fishing. But where are all the fish? There's a problem at the lake. There is so much litter. It's gross. We decided we had to do something. But we need some help. What are you two waiting for? Let's get our friends to help. 32, 33, 34, 35. 35. <laughs> Try and beat that. Huh? One, two, five, 45, 91. <laughs> you call that counting? That wasn't fair. What makes you say that? What number comes after 11? That's something like seven, eight? That's what I thought. Bull, it wasn't on purpose. Hi, everyone. We sure need your help. There's a big problem at the pond. Wow. See? Uh, yuck. Don't worry. We'll clean it up. We'll sort it into what's biodegradable and what's not. Food waste is biodegradable, but plastic is not. It's important we separate the two. Bio what? Biodegradable. That means it will break down and decompose. <laughs> Food waste should be collected and buried. And as for the rest, let's place it in the correct bin. Chuck, please put plastic here and glass over there. <laughs> Bull, can you gather the rest into a pile? Uh -huh. Thor, can you dig a big hole? Then you and Unky will flatten it out. Jerry, can you coordinate us from above? But what about me? I want to help too. Once we bury the trash, you can help Unky and Thor level it off. Go, go, Turbozors! All clear! Hey guys, there's one more over on the left! Lovely tread marks. And that does it. Now Bull can deliver all these treasures to the appropriate bins. Don't forget, plastic and glass go in the recycling bins. Where's Chuck? The pond looks much better. It's time to fish. I thought you two might enjoy a boat, which I made. <laughs> Chuck, you are a true genius. And all that I needed to construct this boat was one, two, eight, twenty, one hundred and twenty-seven bottles. <laughs> <laughs> Want to have a contest to see who can catch the most fish? I accept your challenge. did a super job. Now it's so beautiful here. Huh? What if people come here and litter again? Not to worry. I'll patrol from above, and if I see someone littering, then I'll get this signal to Chuck. You're up, Chuck. <laughs> now that ought to make people think twice about littering. <laughs> but today's the last day it's showing. Let's go, sis. Come
Come on, I know you want to see this movie. Huh? Sorry, Peter, we can't. There's no way we can go. Oh man, why not? Huh? huh? <laughs> That's our reason. We can't leave Florian alone. <sighs> Why, there you are. <laughs> we were wondering where you two were. We were just waiting and waiting. Our grandma had to go into town, so we have to watch Florian ourselves. We have to stay here. We can't do anything fun. Hmm. Don't mind Mr. Grumpy Pants. He wanted to see a movie, so now he's gonna sulk about it. What if you got someone else to watch him? Who? Well, I'm great with kids, and this tiny human seems comfortable with me. You really think you can watch him for a couple of hours, Joe? Thanks, that's awesome. No, no, tiny human. <laughs> What now? Oh. Kids, are you hiding in my garden? I have your ball. Here you go. <gasps> Florian? Huh? Oh. Oh. What are you doing? You could get spotted. I lost sight of the tiny human. Now he's gone. What? Nobody panic yet. Joe, let's go alert the rest of the Turbozoars. Florian couldn't have gotten very far. Hmm? Huh. Huh. He's not back there either. He couldn't have gotten into the house, could he? We searched every room in the house, too. We can only hope he doesn't go too far. Hmm? He's crawled into the back of Aunt Nora's car. Huh? <gasps> Hang on! We gotta follow them! We should figure out where Aunt Nora's headed. You're right. I think we gotta split up. Chuck, you're great, but you don't have speed on your side. I think you should stay in the forest. You guys get to have all the fun without me. Maybe you should stay here, too. Someone needs to be here in case Grandma comes back before we do. <laughs> go, go, Turbo Zors! Why'd you stop, Thor? There's a roadblock here. We need to find another way. Uh -huh. So happy. One car delivery complete with tiny human inside. Huh? Guess what, you guys? We found the car that has Florian inside. Oh. We should probably put that back in its parking spot and see if you can fix the flat tire, too. Mm -hmm.
Yes, that's right. I need a new tire. <gasps> or maybe a whole new car? Hello? You must help. My car has been stolen. Oh, I guess it hasn't been stolen. And my flat tire's been repaired. What a strange day. 